Thanks for staying with us. I'm Matt McCutcheon. More Hoosier jobs could be headed south of the border. Rex Nord Bearings is in the process of moving 350 jobs from its factory on the west side of town to Monterey, Mexico. Our Eyewitness News reporter Bruce Kopp just talked to the union chief and workers and is live with what they're saying. Understandably, a lot of frustrations, Bruce. You're right, Matt. It's been uh, it's back to work for these 300 union workers here at the Rex Nord Bearing Plant along US 36. Thousands of cars pass by here each and every day and probably don't even notice this plant, which has been here for decades. Uh, this is, is where the workers make bearings for heavy machinery. Now, since workers were sent home last Friday following the company's announcement that it's planning to move work to Mexico, workers are coming to terms with the consequences and considering their options. Now, I talked with several workers and union officials a few minutes ago. Everybody here is hurt very, very, very badly. And like I said, a lot of heart and soul people put, uh, put into this place and for them to just rip it out like that out of a notice out of nowhere is it's just heart wrenching. Some of the people uh, my age and I'm out of this plant myself, uh, we can retire. Uh, we can go on with our life. Maybe we're not ready to retire, but we can move on. Younger people, they, they're probably going to be interested in getting some retraining uh, and go into another field. Some people, and I call it age 40 to 55, they're, they're probably not, uh, they're not old enough to retire. They're probably not going to be real marketable out in the workforce because of their age. Uh, their life is going to be drastically changed. Now, Mayor Hogshead has also said he is reaching out to company officials today. Workers here make about $25 an hour as uh, compared to wages in Mexico where they make just a fraction of that amount. Union officials say they hope to as well meet with Rex Nord officials to find out if there is another option to moving this work to Mexico. Again, they said it has been a very profitable operation. The workers say they have made money for the company over the decades and this has become uh, a development out of the blue where suddenly they would be losing their jobs in six months. We'll be checking in with the mayor to find out if he learns anything more from company officials about the future of this operations and again all of this uh, combining with the carrier operations uh, the same circumstances about a mile away from here where over the years eventually those jobs would be moved to Mexico. I'm live here on the west side along Rock Phil Road. Matt, back to you. So many people hoping those jobs will stay there. Bruce Cobb reporting live. Thank you. Meanwhile, a man from northwest Indiana charged with killing his girlfriend has been arrested more than a week after police found the woman's body 